Good day fellow teachers, I'm Sir Oliver and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So another video content that I would like to share with all of you, another sample of learning module, this time Mathematics 7 naman. So let us compare ano ba yung content ng Mathematics 7 sa Mathematics 8. Titignan natin kung same lang din sila ng pagkakagawa ng SLM. So, alam natin na ang SLM na ito ay makakatulong sa mga students in the teaching and learning activities. Because most of the school ang pinili ay modular distance learning, of course, students will receive a printed modules na kanilang pag-aaralan with or guided by their parents or guardians or meron silang may receive na uh, work or weekly home learning plan para alam nila kung ano yung mga pages na sasagutan. Itong module na to ay melt based most essential learning competency, wherein binawasan yung competencies at kinuha lang yung most essential. Doon, ang naging basis ay yung curriculum guide ng Department of Education. And, makakita kayo ng logo ng ADM or Alternative Delivery Mode, which means non-traditional education program recognized by the Department of Education, which applies a flexible learning philosophy and a, and a curricular delivery program that includes non-formal and informal sources of knowledge and skills. But before anything else, I would like to give disclaimer Copyright Disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1967, allowance is made for fair use for purpose such as criticism, comment, news, reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. So, uh, proper credits to the rightful, uh, rightful owner of the content used in this video. So, no, no copyright infringement intended. So, this is for educational perspective purposes only. So, I made this video uh, para magkaroon ng idea yung ating mga Math 7 teachers, ano ba yung ina-expect nilang uh, content ng isang module ng Math 7. Ang focus natin ngayon ay titignan natin yung cover page, yung development and management team, the table of contents, the idea process. So, titignan natin kung na-utilize ba dito yung idea process for our exemplar. So, yung mga question, mga what questions, yung content, paano ba ginawa yung content and the assessment part. So, anong klaseng assessment part? The pre-test and the post-test. So, self-learning modules in Mathematics 7. So, there are 10 milks for the first quarter. So, this is good for 8 weeks, I think. And then, merong 14 modules na kinompiled into one module. So, supposedly it should be 10, pero may mga lesson din sa Math 7 na mahaba, kaya separated in two modules. Uh, module 1 is the introduction to sets. So, ang ipapakita ko sa inyong sample ay yung uh, module 1. So, pag sinabi natin module, it pertains to lesson. So now, so let's have a walkthrough of the self-learning module in Mathematics 7. So let's start our walkthrough with the cover page. Nakalagay doon sa my upper left. Government property. So it is not for sale. So nakalagay 7. Mathematics first quarter module 1. Ang title ay like introduction to sets. So, tignan nyo naman yung illustration. So, yung girl is wearing face mask and then yung kanyang background is related with uh, mathematics. Ayan. So, creative din yung pagkakagawa ng uh, illustration and then yung nasa pinakababa yung ADM which means alternative delivery mode. And then we should all uh, we should all know the copyright page. Ati yung uh, nahalagi dito. No copyright shall subsist in any work of the government of the Philippines. Ayan. And then 
tignan nyo naman napakadaming uh, tao ang nagtulong-tulong or ito yung mga development team of the module. So, ito yung mga author, reviewers, writers, illustrators, layout artists, etc. At lahat ng mga ito ay expert. Kaya naman, saludo ako sa lahat ng bumubuo ng module na ito na ginamit ko na sample sa aking video content. So, credit po sa may-ari ng module na to, so region 10 po. So, this instructional material is collaboratively developed and reviewed by educators from public schools. Ayan. Talagang ito ay collabor uh, collaborative effort ng iba't ibang stakeholders ng education. So, meron tong introductory message ayan, for the learner. Ayan, welcome to the Mathematics 7 ADM module on Introduction to Sets. And then... Ito, nakalagay, this module was designed to provide you with fun and meaningful opportunities for guided and independent learning at your own pace and time. You will be enabled to process the contents of the learning resource while being an active learner. So, meaning, sabi dito sa module na to, even at home, kailangan ikaw ay active learners. And then, makikita dito yung mga icons na ginamit. And then, hindi ko naiisa-isahin yung parts. Alam ko na alam nyo na itong mga what I need to know, what I know, what's in, what's new, what is uh, what is it, what's more, what I have learned, what I can do, assessment, and you have here additional activities. And most importantly is, answer key are provided at the back of the module. and the references and of course meron siyang reminders to follow ayan use the module with care do not put unnecessary marks on any part of the module use a separate sheet of paper in answering the exercises don't forget to answer what i know before moving on to the other activities included the module Ito kasi yung magbe-measure ng mga prior knowledge ng bata read the instruction carefully before doing each task Observe honesty and integrity in doing the task and checking your answers. Finish the task at hand before proceeding to the next. Return this module to your teacher facilitator once you are through with it. I think ang pagre-return nito ay in the end of each quarter na no? since mahirap yung magre-return weekly. So sa kanila muna yung module nila hanggang matapos nila yung buong quarter. Ayan, nakalagay dito, if you encounter any difficulty in answering the task in the module, do not hesitate to consult your teacher or facilitator. Always bear in mind that you are not alone. So, we hope that through this material, you will experience meaningful learning and gain a deep understanding of the relevant competencies. So, you can do it. So, ang kagandaan sa module na ito, napansin ko, meron siya mga words of encouragement. It is like talagang yung message ay directly sinasabi doon sa learners na sila yung magbabasa ng module nito. So, ito yung table of contents. So, napansin ko lang na sa table of contents, hindi naging specific kung ano yung lesson. Basta nakalagay lang lesson 1 and then yung mga what's in, what's new, what is it, what's more. Hindi in-specify yung specific uh, title of the activities or yung pinaka-lesson nga. Pero, Makikita naman yon as you go along with the modules. Nandun naman yun sa pinaka uh, title head kung ano yung uh, pinaka lesson for the week. So, same lang din siya. What's in? What's new? What is it? What's more? So, okay, so yan yung table of contents. So, ang coverage ng module 1 ay lesson 1 and lesson 2. So, titignan natin mamaya. So, same lang then with the other modules, I think. Ganon din yung mga parts. And then, what I need to know, this module is designed and written with you in mind. It is here to help you master sets. The scope of this module permits it to be used in many ways. The language recognizes the diverse vocabulary level of students. The lessons are arranged to follow the standard sequence of the course, 
but the order in which you read them can be changed to correspond with the textbook you are now using. So, meron siyang social regards for learners. So, talagang kinoconsider yung iba't ibang uh, learners natin. So, this module is divided into two lessons. Ayan, nakalagay pala dito yung uh, dalawang lessons. So, yung lesson 1, introduction to sets and way on how to describe a set. Lesson 2, kinds of set. Ayan. And using Venn diagram. So, based on the competency, this module is crafted to help the students illustrate well-defined sets, subsets, universal sets, null set, ayan, etc. Ito yung kanyang learning code from the curriculum guide. Nakuha yung learning competency doon sa MELK. Ayan. So, what I know, so sinabi doon na bago ka mag-proceed, ay kailangan nyo munang answer and tong what I know. So, this is a pre-test or pre-assessment to diagnose or to test your prior knowledge regarding the lesson. So, it is a multiple choice type. So, 15 items. Ayan, 15 items yung sasagutan na multiple choice. And then, after that, meron lang mga guide questions. So, were you able to answer all the questions? If not, don't worry because the next activity will help you better understand the lesson. So, meaning to say na, ito yung words of encouragement na if the students got low scores, so nakalagi dito, don't worry because the next activity will help you. So, ikaw, talaga matutulungan sila na mag-grow or mas matuto pa tungkol doon sa lesson. So, which is maganda na nakalagay sa module. So, ito yung lesson 1. So, meron siyang activity 1 entitled Identify Me. So, ano nga hanapin? Identify the given below. Merong mga materials. And then, let's do this activity. Ayan. So, can you think of your examples of a group and its members? The first one has been done for you. Write the answer in your mathematics notebook. So, ito yung mag establish ng lesson. It's somewhat a sort of a review or a motivation. Ayan. At ang kagandahan dito, napansin ko, yung unang example, flowers. And then, ang group, gumamela, kalachuchi, rose, sampagita. And what I like the most with this module, meron siyang mga positive praise. Kasi nakalagay dito, great work. You are ready for the next activity. Kumbaga, it will driven the readers na magpatuloy pa sa pagsasagot ng module na to. Diba? Once they have finished the first activity. Sabi sabihin, kayang-kaya talaga nila yung mga susunod. Katulad nito, meron mga pictures dito. Ang gagawin nila ay copy and fill in the table below by writing the name of the objects in the appropriate column and then answer the given questions then write the answer in your mathematics notebook so malinaw yung mga direction kung ano yung gagawin at kung saan uh, isusulat yung mga sagot and then maganda dito ay provided yung una as their guide or as their example or pattern ay halimbawa transportation sheep helicopter airplane and bicycle and then ilalagay nila sa next following yung animals based on sa figure and other one and then meron siyang mga guide question dito na sasagutan based on sa kanilang ginawang activity and then another praise congratulations you have grouped them correctly in mathematics a group can also be called set if you understand the concept of the group then you will also understand the concept of sets. Diba? Napakaganda ng pagkakagawa ng module na ito. So, ako talaga ay uh, na-appreciate ko yung pagkakagawa ng module na ito kasi talagang nag-build up yung lesson base from doon sa dalawang activities na given. Yung identify me, diba? Tsaka yung sa pagkaklasify ng mga group. And then, after this one, isa pa sa nagustuhan ko is how the lessons are presented. So, ni present siya using tables at alam naman natin na uh, using table is one way on how to organize your information or concept notes well. Ayan, nakalagay dito how to write and name a set. Ayan, merong mga binigay na examples. Merong mga labeling. Ayan, ng, so yun yung set, yun yung braces, ito yung elements, yun yung paggamit ng commas and yun yung paggamit ng uh, it is open and closed by braces. And then, there are three ways to describe a set. 
So, given yung way, meron siyang description at meron siyang examples. Which is, uh, very organized yung pagkaka-present ng lesson. So, kapag nakita, ay, kapag palagan to yung examples, eto yung sinasabi nating roster notation or listing method. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin nun? Listing daw. And then, the second method, ayan. And then, you have the third method. And then after that, what's more, based doon sa lesson na, per na present, describe me. Ayan. On how you are going to write or present a given set. <clears throat> and then, nakalagay dan yung verbal, set builder, notation, and roster method. Dito naman ay, kukompletuhin nila yung uh, table kung ano yung nawawala. Then, another positive praise. Great job! You did well in writing sets. Or something like that. And then, lesson 2. Hindi ko na po ipapakita. Same like with uh, the lesson 1. Kung paano na-present yung uh, lesson. Nagbigay ng magandang concept notes. May mga positive praises. Kung maga, talagang quality module itong uh, masasabi ko itong uh, module na ginawa ng division ito. Ayan. And then, yung assessment part, of course, then after answering all the activities, so itong uh, post-test, kailangan syempre mas tumaas na yung score ng mga students or learners. 15 items then na naka-inline din doon sa or somewhat congruent or parallel doon sa uh, ating free test. And then you have here other activities, so somewhat sort of research or mga performance space na pwedeng igawa in application doon sa kanilang learnings or what they have learned. And you have here the answer key because students will be the one to check and assess their work again. This will serve as our basis from their performance. Nakalagay naman doon sa module, they need to be honest. Kailangan ng honesty and integrity. So, I hope fellow teachers ay nagkaroon kayo ng idea ano ba ang nilalaman ng isang uh, module specifically sa Math 7. Huwag mo kalimutan mag-subscribe.